the Honorable Charanke. Mr. Speaker, two quick observations. One is that, uh, Mr. Speaker, many substantive issues were raised by the MCS, but fortunately it was close over. Number two, we have uh, today, in my own observation, we have legitimized temporary impunity, where you go to an office, you have followed the law, and that is it. Number three, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Honorable Senator. Mr. Speaker, I, I gave directions on how we're going to make our comments going forward. Yes. The report by the committee is a report of the Senate. You're a senator, and yes. therefore your functus official, as far as that report is concerned. You oh. cannot therefore purport to distance yourself from that report. And if that is your line of contribution, mm -hmm. kindly take your seat. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I thought comments is part of the opinion. And I'm not blaming anybody, Mr. Speaker. Can I conclude? Yes. Can I conclude? T -t take your seat. Honorable Cherangay, I know you're forcing me to give you a New Year gift. I'll give it to you. I will. I was very clear, and the law is very clear on this matter. When the report has been tabled, the matter ends there. Whether you have misgivings or not, you don't put them before the house because it is a report of the house. In other words, you cannot criticize your own work. Having said that, can you proceed to utilize your two seconds remaining? What, what is the point of order, Senator Sifuna? Mr. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Take Speaker. Take a seat, uh, Senator Chirangye. Mi Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Yes. Mr. Speaker, on behalf of Senator the... Kinyua, can you take your seat, please? I'm on a point of order. You are not on a point of order. He is on a point of order. Senator Sifuna is on a point of order. You are not. No. Oh. I said Sifuna. <laughs> I didn't say Senator Kinyua. So kindly you take your seat. What's Ms. your point of order? Mr. Speaker? Speaker, on behalf of the committee that I served in, I find it uh, terribly insulting. After the hours of work that we've put in, Mr. Speaker, the nation has witnessed how long we've sat in this chamber to be able to go through the evidence, to listen to the parties, to do our research, and the detailed report is before the House, Mr. Speaker. You will be able to see the industry that was put in by this committee. I therefore feel strongly insulted for the Senator from Nandi to suggest that we have glossed over any matters that were brought before this particular committee. And he has to withdraw and apologize, Mr. Speaker. Senator, let me rule on this point of order. Uh, kindly take your seat. Kindly take your seat, Senator. Please. Senator, Senator Kinyua, take your seat. Senator Chirangay, I was very clear before I opened up space for comments going forward. And we said we are not going back to that report because that report now is a property of the House, including you yourself as the Senator Fernandi. Your statement to the effect that uh, the committee glossed over some issues is it's, it's unfortunate. And I'm afraid you have to retract and apologize. Failure which I may order you to, to be out of order and proceed to throw you out. Yes. Yes. Senator proceed. And the senator will be heard in silence. Mr. Speaker, with all due respect, you are the umpire of the Senate. 
the constitution gives us a right of opinion and expression. We will not use Senate to gag some of our opinion. We shall not. And I stand by my words, Mr. Speaker, because it is an observation, Mr. Speaker. When members, Mr. Speaker, let me finish. When members were congratulating, we didn't have a problem. Can when you were being seat? congratulated, we didn't have a problem. We didn't have Senator, a problem. Senator Chirange, can you take a seat? Can you, can you take a seat, Senator Chirange? Senator, Senator Cherenge, you are not in the market. You speak when you've been allowed to speak. I'm going to repeat myself so that you get me as clear as you can. When this report was laid on the table today, it was laid pursuant to both Section 33 of the County Governments Act and Standing Order 80 of the Senate Standing Orders. If you read it, Standing Order 80, 4, it clearly stipulates on how the Senate should handle the report. It gives two scenarios. If the charges are substantiated, then you proceed. And the senators will have an opportunity to debate the report and thereafter vote on every charge. When is no charge has been substantiated, the standing orders are also very clear that the matter rests at that and no further proceedings shall be taken in as far as those allegations are concerned. Whether you feel aggrieved, whether you feel the committee did whatever you're saying, that has no space on the floor of the House as far as the law is concerned. You may use another opportunity to air your grievances and your misgivings, but certainly not the floor of the House. So to that extent, you have to retract and apologize. Proceed, Senator Chirange. Can I be informed, Mr. Speaker? Yeah, can I be informed? Can I be informed? Right to inform. Relax, I listen to you. Why are you in a hurry? Mr. Speaker, can I be informed? Can I be informed? <laughs> Proceed, uh, Senator Chirangai. But uh, someone wants to inform Proceed me. to retract and Mr. apologize. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, in your ruling, in your ruling when you gave us opportunity to make comments, you said anything we make, the comment we make here will not alter or change the course of the decision of the committee. So all these opinions everybody has been raising are personal opinions on what they think. And I've had people commenting about the process, commenting about the chair, commenting about everybody, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, and even others were congratulating the government, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I cannot be gagged. The Constitution gives a right, each and every Kenyan, right to opinion, right to say who they are, unless the Senate has changed and decided to gag its members from expressing their position. And if anything that we say, Mr. Speaker. Uh, cover your seat. Senator Chirange, you're holding your standing orders. Kindly proceed to standing order 122, gross disorderly conduct. I have made a ruling. You don't debate my ruling. 
You don't. Standing order 122A. 1A states as follows. A senator commits an act of gross disorderly conduct if the senator defies the ruling or direction of the speaker or chairperson of the committee. That is exactly what you have done. Now, before I give you the consequences of doing so, I'm giving you the last opportunity. Proceed to retract and apologize. Mr. Speaker, the Constitution is very clear. These standing orders emanates from the Constitution. But the Supreme of the Constitution, in the case of Opio and I and others, when they whistled at the floor of the House, Mr. Speaker, the court made its ruling. I am expressing my opinion according to the ruling that you gave that, Mr. Speaker, you say anything we make here will not have any consequences, Mr. Speaker. And therefore, Mr. Speaker... Have a seat. Senator Chirange, have a seat. Have a seat. I will take you to Standing Order 122. Two. And it provides as follows. The Speaker may call a Senator whose conduct is grossly disorderly to order and shall order the Senator to withdraw immediately from the precincts of parliament on the first occasion for a maximum of three sitting days. This is your first occasion. I order you to withdraw for the remainder of the day. Kindly proceed to withdraw. <laughs> Senator Maruma. <laughs> Senator Maruma. Asante Mweshmiwa Speaker kwa hii fursa umenipa ili kuchangia Mweshmiwa Speaker <laughs> ningependa kusema kwamba nashukuru kamati kwa ile kazi walifanya 